TikTok's most branded challenge. No poop July. No poop July. Bro, I just came here from your YouTube channel. Welcome in. No poop July might be TikTok's <laughs> dumbest challenge. Some treat it like a joke. Others take it seriously. What the fuck? And while it's giving users hundreds of millions of views, it's also infuriating the entire medical field. No way. No way. No poop July is taking no over way, TikTok, and some doctors are hoping not... users do not take the challenge seriously. The trend was first started by TikToker OKCron, OK who with just a couple thousand followers, posted this initial video in July 2020. At this point in time, is ridiculous- Is that dangerous for your stomach? Yeah, of course it is! Of course! You know, the shit's still there! It's still there! By the way, your shit can come out of your mouth. Your shit can come back up out of your mouth if you do that. So, don't do that. Challenges with TikTok's claim to fame, helping OKCron OK go viral, amassing 84,000 likes. The majority of viewers simply I laughed just about the what? concept, <laughs> but with Cron himself commenting, can I make it till the end, he'd posed a serious question. Was it actually possible to go 31 days no. without pooping? Another user urged Cron that he shouldn't even try, yet he still proceeded to his second day. By slightly increasing the strain on his face, Kron gained a further almost half a million likes, oh which after God. again repeating on day three, showed how instantly popular the challenge was becoming. Other oh, TikTokers no. therefore began to beg, can we please not make this a thing? Yet OK Kron dismissed him as a hater who'd already failed. Then by day number five, the challenge was also criticized by Reddit, and while some commenters asked what goes on in TikTok- Like the sad thing is, most of these things- most of these things are obviously fake and fabricated, but they are still those dumbasses who are thinking, oh, it's real, let's try it. That's why the shit just needs to be shut down, man. TikTok is a sin. Doggers heads to make something like this. Others thought it was hilarious. How did I not know about No Poop July until now? By day number eight, OK Kron himself squeezed out a little smile, yet by day 10, the struggle had returned. He looks like he's in genuine pain. That's because I am. <laughs> When questioned on day 11 how am I holding it in, his state answer is on the hat, which was branded with the Flex Seal logo. Oh my god! Oh my god, nah! However, this only helped no temporarily as on day 18. That's a lot of damage! He was totally exposed. I think someone snuck into my house. He's using the bathroom. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding! A big misunderstanding? It's no poop to lie! I'm gonna expose you! Okay, Kron oh therefore god. made a sad announcement. I have failed oh my no god. poop to lie. Understandably, he shared his I devastation. Agree, yes. It just slipped. It just slipped. I don't know what to say. It just slipped. So you shit yourself. Yet the very next day, yeah. he revealed he was still going. Kron had I seemingly used... <laughs> his one free poop coupon, which allowed for okay. one emergency dump okay. without disqualification. Okay. To ensure it didn't happen again, he'd throw away all his toilet paper, lock up the toilet, throw away all his toilet paper again, and lock himself out of his bathroom. This inspired others to join in on the challenge, which it seemed OK Kron didn't really appreciate. Homie trying to act like he started the biggest trend of this month. Copycats, however, couldn't slow him down, as OK Kron successfully beat the challenge, or did he? <laughs> when told you better he? not be pooping off camera, bruh, OK Kron responded, I'm not, yet Kron's friend then exposed him by showing it was fake. You might know him as the kid who hasn't pooped for 26 days, but today I found proof that he lied to us. No poop to lie, though. Did you fail? Be real. Yeah, obviously, like, I'd be in the hospital if I. It was pretty damn obvious that the whole thing was a him <laughs> secretly off camera. 
joke. I mean, nobody would oh, actually dirty. <laughs> Michael be so stupid <laughs> enough to try this challenge for real, right? Well, people right? began to question. Resource Michael. Gin. What if you drank liquid vitamin, protein, and fats? What if you drank a liquid form of all the resources you need to live? Never eating solid mass again. Could you maybe get away with never pooping again? One per Wait, this is some actual resource Michael here shit. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> person responded, I lasted 10 days. I had to go to the hospital though and it was 2015. Never tried it again, just as a different TikTok was also going viral. This guy held in his poop for 47 days. When he was pulled wow. over, cops realized he ate something right before they came up to the window. He had swallowed drugs that were in his car. And while he was waiting behind bars, Lamar went on a poop strike. He simply refused to go to the bathroom altogether. He didn't go to the bathroom for literally 47 days straight days no they showed way. that the challenge how how was in fact possible supported by a reddit post giving countless other anecdotes i've gone two months without a bowel movement it hurts a lot and drains my energy but it's happened a few times before usually it's just around one month though yeah but that's when you literally have like a medical issue going on like holy shit your body would still have Ways to eliminate, as not everything can be eliminated by your bladder. Okay. I literally did not go to the toilet for a whole month after I effed up my bowels through laxative abuse. I was constipated for more than three weeks while pregnant. It was awful, but I didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shit like this can happen. And it's, it's, it's bad. It's like a bad thing. So uh, don't fucking do this to yourself, man. I, uh, although sadly, none of these people recorded it for their TikTok. That would be until Shireen and Kathy Doll came along. So here I am on day 33 of not doing a poo. My tummy is in agony. I have stomach cramps constantly. It is so, so painful. She'd been in and out of hospital as she simply oh couldn't poo. So I managed to date a big shite and that's me at the hospital. But Una, I nearly fucking blocked the toilet pan. <laughs> She'd therefore shift her TikToks to document her journey, beginning perhaps coincidentally right at the start of July. I am just at the bath and look at my tummy. I am bigger than anybody holding like two triplets at eight months pregnant. As shown, Shireen looked like she was pregnant, with her involuntary no poop July looking like it'd soon be ending. I am getting surgery tomorrow, but it's taking so long to get here, but I am so wow. grateful. The surgery was successful, concluding her no poop July on the 21st, whilst other TikTokers like It's MacDougall. Holy shit. Rip her, man. Rip her. I am glad that it's like that she's through it now. She didn't do this on purpose. She got constipated. Like, she didn't do this on purpose. It was constipation issues. Chad, she had a medical issue. We're still clearly struggling to beat it. OK Cron had returned for another year with significantly higher production value, although this time receiving much more criticism. Perhaps due to Shireen's journey, Cron's 2022 No Poop July featured an automatic TikTok disclaimer reading Participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Eating. Participating in this activity could wow. result in you or others getting hurt. I didn't know that TikTok actually has shit like this. Okay, at least something, man, at but least something. Despite this, the challenge went even more viral than ever, gaining over 800,000 likes on his very first episode in 2022. Yes, it's back, but at what cost? By refining and perfecting his constipation face, OK Cron cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20, and by day 29, Ooh. the entire squad was there to offer their support. <laughs> He'd celebrate its completion by wearing his finest suit, which became his most watched video with over 18 million views. Yeah, there's no way he didn't shit um, off camera, man. There's no way. I didn't win in 2020 and I lost in 2021, but this year I did it. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. Doctors, however, I'm pretty sure this can cause acute appendicitis, uh, appendicitis. I, I can't pronounce that, <laughs> which is something I've had. Almost died from a Jesus fucking Christ, man. Yeah, that's bad. Weren't impressed by OK Cron's achievement. I'm Dr. Justin Sloan, and I'm here to tell you that there are consequences to not having a bowel movement. Inflammation of epidemic. 
appendix, I think. Okay. These range from hemorrhoids all the way up to bowel obstruction. No poop July jokes are all over TikTok. Some doctors urge users not to try it for real. The NBC article written as the month was finishing read, some doctors warn that the trend should remain a joke, yeah. saying those who are successful at holding- That's right. It's me. It's me. It's your boy, it's your boy Asmund Gold. ...in their bowel movements could cause issues like hemorrhoids and a temporary dependence on laxatives for regular bowel movements. It's a funny thing to joke about, but it's a potentially serious thing to do, said Dr. Stephen Miller, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Ironically, yep. however, this media exposure only made the challenge even more popular, oh but if you follow God. the graph a little further... Oh my God! Bro! You'll see No Poop July was still only getting started. In 2023, even more TikTokers joined the challenge, such as Hulkmania Stanley, who basically just copied OKCron's OK formula, unfortunately failing to add anything new. OKCron OK himself had also barely changed anything, so despite again winning the challenge and joking about Toilet Eruption August, it seemed No Poop July... Toilet eruption August. Okay. I was getting old, stale, and stinky. That would be until 2024 when OKCron this took year. the challenge to a whole new level. Oh, no. The month what began with do? a crazy announcement. The No Poop July video game is officially available for pre save in the App Store. What? Why? It built an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It features weapons such as the toilet paper pistol, a full line of in-game cosmetics, and a new boss for every day of July. Upon its release, Cron would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. Amazing game. Honestly, like, it doesn't seem too bad. Like... Honestly, it doesn't seem like a bad game, actually. He built actually. an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It like, features honestly, weapons such as uh, for a phone game, it's not the that toilet bad. paper what the pistol, fuck? a full line of in-game cosmetics, and a new boss for every day of July. Upon its release, Cron would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. Amazing game, life-changing, managed to get out of the divorce and take back custody of my kids. Right. After showing the judge NPJ. And No Poop July itself still hadn't even started. In addition to the game, Cron teased the challenge with its own oh official God. trailer, which did eventually okay. manage to live up to the hype. Every single day had its own funny outfit, dressing up American for the 4th, <laughs> as Yoda God. for the 8th, and Skibbity Toilet for day. No! After the month eventually ended, Kron had officially achieved the MPJ3 peat, yet he still wasn't finished. He'd announced that he'd made an official MPJ movie, and while this seemed a like movie. just another okay. joke, it actually had a super a wholesome twist. Movie. Kron explained towards wholesome. the end, toilet paper is often overlooked in donation drives, yet it is one of the most essential and underdonated toiletries globally. Oh! He'd therefore spend almost a thousand dollars on it, explaining since I didn't have to poop for the entire month of July, it would instead be donated to a local charity. Perhaps even more. Well, uh, the good ending. Impressively, OKCron okay had milked the 31 days for 103 different MPJ TikToks, but I guess it's not a bad idea given the challenge is seasonal and is also getting old. Viewers have commented the meme has been dead for over a year. Just let it go. Yet OKCron OK believes he'll still be doing NPJ in 2089. Honestly, the good ending. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I was, I, I was a good ending on him. Like, donating toilet paper to actually people that need a job. 